And the Buddha then asks, and why? And why? Why? Why should the Bodhisattva give a gift uh, unsupported and so on? Why? This uh, business of why uh, needs a little bit of, of discussion. It came up in our group and uh, about the logic of, of, the, of the sutra. It might be an interesting sort of discussion. In some ways it's not entirely clear in these. There are other passages where the logic sort of, uh, the strangeness of it is a bit clearer. Uh, Bhante feels, Sankarachita feels that the wise therefores and moreovers in the sutra are in a sense inconsequential you're not being presented with a linear argument words like why, therefore and because appear in the sutra like as he puts it beautifully like ghosts of a reason bound world that this text has left far behind I rather like that ghosts of a reason-bound world that this text has left far behind. So, and why? Why? Because, the Buddha says, the heap of merit that comes through unsupported giving is immeasurable. That's what the Buddha says. The heap of merit that comes through unsupported giving is immeasurable. So, he then evokes the immeasurable Space. He asks Sabuti, do you think space in all of the directions, north, south, east, west, up, down, is immeasurable? And he says, well, yes, it is. So this is what, in the same way, the merit that you gain, the heap of merit that you gain through unsupported giving, giving without the notion of a sign, is immeasurable. It's as vast as space. If you give without limitation, without d definition, if your giving is unbounded, the positive effect, the merit, is unbounded, without limits and without definition. If giving is supported, defined, bounded, the effects will be limited and defined, will be bounded. So we have here then the, the, the notion of merit, punya in Sanskrit. And it's referred to a lot throughout the sutra. There's a lot of reference to punya, to merit. And sometimes when you read these Mahayana sutras, the Diamond Sutra, you can think, oh, God, here we go, more on merit, especially the merit of reading the sutra. They seem to go on and on and on and on and on and on about it. Merit's very important. Uh, so what is this merit? What is this punya? Dr. Konza describes it very well as the indispensable condition for all further spiritual progress. Merit is the indispensable condition for all further spiritual progress. So we've got conditions again. Uh, some presentations, of course, popular presentations, and the way merit is thought of popularly in, in the Buddhist East, well, in the East generally, because you also find the notion of merit in uh, Hinduism as well. Merit's like a sort of you know, you've got a kind of merit bank, the Bank of Merit International, or the Cosmic Merit Bank. And every good deed is sort of clocking up the merit counters in your account. Um, and, you, you know, every time you give, you know, something to somebody, in goes the merit uh, uh, into the account, which you can presumably, you cash in with uh, a good rebirth or going to heaven and all the rest of it. And it can be treated very materialistically, unfortunately. I mean, there's that story that, uh, you know, Bhante heard of in India, that uh, of the Jain ascetic who'd led years and years, you know, 20 or more years, most of his life, you know, starving himself and all sorts of privations. And the thought was that, well, he'd, he'd accumulated enormous merit through his asceticism, but he decided that, well, I want to go into business. So he sold his merit to, uh, to somebody else. So that they got the merit and... He got the money and went into business. A very peculiar, very materialistic notion and really missing the point. I think merit punya, one way you could look at it is that what it is, is positive momentum. You're building up through your spiritual practice a kind of momentum. That's punya, a kind of energy, if you like. Through generosity and the other perfections, you're developing, there is developing, a positive, creative, resourceful volition, resourceful momentum building up in you, so that 
whatever happens in life, you can, you've got resources, if you like, you've got the character to meet those situations. Uh, you can have a creative response to life. If you're weak in merit, it will probably mean that you can't respond that creatively, that resourcefully to changing conditions. You just sink, you're just drawn down, overcome, overwhelmed by circumstance. So in this sense, merit is very, very important for building up this positive momentum. 